welcome or welcome back to this channel. Hi, I'm Maria, if you don't know me. I make beaded jewelry. So this channel is all about beading and my small handmade business. And today I'm going to take you along with me for my shop update preparations. So the very first shop update this year will be the 21st of January. This is one week from now, so I need to prepare anything today because um, during, the, during my work week I don't have any time. And so this means that I have to take product photos, I need to get all the descriptions ready, I need to calculate new prices. Yeah, make sure that everything's ready for next Saturday. So it's going to be quite busy, not only today, but I think also tomorrow. I want to finish everything for the shop update today, but I also have to finish uh, one personalized order that I got last week. The materials just arrived, so I guess I will make those earrings tomorrow at latest. And I also want to prepare for the next tutorial. So I don't think that two days is enough, <laughs> but I want to get a lot done, so let's start. I have ordered some beads and some threads, so this is the check bead order. Then up there, this white package is the one from China, which I have waited for for two months and it's now finally here. So I'm going to open this up and then I also have a thread order. And I will show you what I got. First, the thread order. So I got a whole bunch of brown Nymo thread. This is the usual thread I use for tassel and fringe earrings. So I got a whole bunch of these. It's all the same color. And it will last me a long time. This is 50 meters each. So I've got these. And this is all Miyuki thread. Size B. I've got a few silver ones. I use these for my sterling silver hoop earrings. And then also all kinds of different colors. And I use these for my Coburn bracelets. Because you see a lot of thread in Coburn bracelets because of the herringbone stitch. And that's why I want to match the color to my beads. I mean, they have so many more colors. That's only a few. Oopsie. So these. And some dark blue, purple, and some light blue, and gold also. Champagne color, I think, which I use for brass hoops. And that's all the thread I got. Now, for the Chinese package. This order was far too expensive. I would never advise anyone to buy these beads. Let's hope it's the right, it's the right beads. I got some 15 O's in Yuki because I think I don't that I don't have this color yet. It's a warm light green, also some orange. So yeah, two of those each. Check beads. It's a bead mix I absolutely love, and you have seen it before, and I can only get it there. So these are the pastel colored lamp work check beads. I use for one of my Coburn bracelets, the white one, you know, with the pastel colors. And I ordered a lot, because I don't know how long they will be in stock, so I just wanted to make sure that I have enough. And they have more bead, mi bead mixes like this one, so I ordered one in blue. It's a whole bunch of different beads, so some are matte, some are shiny. Some are opaque, I can see, some are lustered, and I think it's really pretty, especially with the bronze colored ones in there. And then I also got one in green, so yeah, you have some opaque light green ones in there, that's cool. And I also got a red mix, 
red and light pink with some opaque super dark red ones in there yeah super excited for these and then i also ordered more of those pine cone shaped crystal beads because i love them so much and i wanted to have more colors of these um, i use these in my sindri earrings and I want to at least wake, make one more color combination in white. I also didn't have this color before. It's a lustered gray. Super sparkly. It's a super light red. Light blue, dark blue and some red. They look pretty blue but it's light, light purple. Believe me. <laughs> How do you even open this? Got it! These will be quite a lot, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. I bought a bunch of 4mm pressed ones. More 4mm, light blue. And then some in dark purple. 3mm fire polished ones. I already have these. Um, the ones I was low on, I ordered some more. Most beads that you see here, um, they're just refills. More of these more of these and this is a super shiny dark scarlet color i would say this is dark orange with a light blue shimmer then some more spotted orange and purple ones which i also use in coburn bracelet and then i got a whole bunch of check drop beads so i got some large ones in olive green this is a dark red and bronze combination light blue and another one dark purple these are four millimeters again small drops orangey green golden color i would say and these are orange yeah this is a mix between light pink and salmon i would say i mean in german you would say anthrazit i have no clue what you would call it in English, so it's anthracite. Crystal white. Some more large ones. Also crystal white, but lustered. So yeah, and that's all. And I'm so glad that the Chinese package still arrived. So what I usually do first are product photos. This is the first time that I will take photos in this new flat. I need to figure some stuff out how this is going to work. In the old apartment I usually had the light coming from the left hand side but my beading space is over there and I don't want to remove it all just to take photos. So I put up this huge light over here and I hope that this will work <laughs> and uh, because I don't want to remake all the photos I already have in my shop I have all the earrings over there it's it's mainly going to be earrings that are new so because I don't have any space at my wall hangers I just hang these <laughs> with the help of my chopsticks so that's quite handy but these are the new tassel earrings. I removed the old ones from my shop and I completely completely remade them because I didn't like the first version I did. So these are the new ones. All done with 50 nos. And then I also made new color combinations of earrings I already have in my shop. There will be new simon earrings. Uh, these are not stone beads. But it's, uh, it's a milky glass. And then I also have some with forest green cube beads and also dark purple ones. So these are new. Then I also will add new mandala earrings with orange bicone beads and white bicone beads. 
And then one new color combination for my Naomi hoop earrings. This is more like a colder dark blue. Um, the other ones I have in my shop are more like a turquoise. So what I will do for these earrings, um, these, as you can see, I have lighter and darker versions. These are both done with a gold mix and this one is done with a purple mix. So I will combine these four earrings in one shot and these four. And then I will give you the option to choose between the light and the dark version in just one listing. Then I take photos with my mobile phone. The light does look pretty nice, so that's good. I thought it would be worse. only put on one earring to take the photos but this is it I think it works quite nicely I really like the light in this one and I love that I'm not dependent on sunlight outside anymore so this is the routine I usually do for all my product photos as I showed you before there are a ton of product photos I will need to take today so I will do this now and I will see you later when I'm done with this part and then I need to create all the listings and I need to check the price for the new tassel earrings. I will be back in a bit. This is the purple option I just took photos of. And I absolutely love that I'm not under any pressure because of the light. So it may not be the most spacious room or the most light room, but it works fine. The last picture I took is the variety shot. So where you can see a bunch of color options I have for a certain earring. This one, I think it's quite cute. I mean, it's simple, but it's cute. And in case you were wondering why I changed my clothes, um, the neckline of the other jumper was too high. I couldn't take proper pictures of my earrings. As a buyer, you want to see how it hangs and how it looks when you wear it. and yeah, so this one is much better. So I've got all the new tassel earrings now. This leaves us with all of these. I will see you when I've taken all the product photos and when I continue with the descriptions and the price. So I'm back. Hello. A few hours have passed. So as you can see, the sun's out. Uh, I think I started at about 8 in the morning. Now it's a few minutes past 11. 
I took all the photos of the earrings. I will sort the last few earrings because usually I have one box with all the things I don't have in the shop at that current moment. And then when I've taken all the photos and I've added the listings, then I will sort them into these jewelry boxes so you can see that the names are written on there so I need I need which one do I need this one these are all the cinnamon earrings I currently have in the shop listed and now I will also add the new ones because the listings are pretty much almost done. And that's how I usually keep track of what I still have to add to the shop and which jewelry pieces already have listings. So these are all going in there. As you can see, I only have one pair of each. But for now, I can restock them because I have the materials. But because all of these galvanized cube beads, they come in mixed bags. So if I use up a certain color, I may not be able to add them again because I can't buy specific colors. So yeah, but I think even though they're mixed, I mean, the colors are really pretty. Look at all of them. I also have yellow ones, but uh, I haven't made any earrings with those yet. So I calculate all my prices in my Excel sheet. So I've got all the categories down here, because otherwise you, you wouldn't find anything in this sheet. I write down all the supplies that I use and about the price that I find sensible as you usually also pay for shipping and custom fees you know and of course I also calculate my time and the profit margin yeah and that's the price then <laughs> out of my teeny tiny little formula so okay I've already got the price for the new earrings so I've already had tassel earrings in my shop before, but I decided that I didn't like them anymore. And that's why I removed them and pretty much all of them have been taken apart by now. So I will copy this listing and I will adjust the details and the price of course and the shipping because that changed too. And for all the other earrings, I already have active listings, so I will copy those too. And the only thing that I will need to adjust is probably the color. have them. These are all the earrings that I will add on the 21st of January. So if you're curious, check out my shop. You will find it down in the description box. And now let's see. So I've made a list of all the things that I have to do. 
What I also need to do is I need to add all these listings to my Facebook catalog so that I can link all these products to my Instagram. But I can only do this when I have the finished link. So I will need to publish these first, the new ones, and then I will add them to Facebook. Uh, yeah, so that's something I need to do next Saturday. Uh, yeah, but I did all the photos. I checked the listings and descriptions and I also changed the price for the new tassel earrings. And so this is basically this part. And up here is everything I need to do before I leave for my business trip. Which is in about one and a half weeks. Uh, so this is going to be fun. I've worked for four hours now. I guess I will take a little break. I will probably make one or two reels today because I'm low on stock <laughs> for reels. Um, I usually do this over here. So this is usually the mat where I make all my reels on. The process reels, you may have seen them. And then I also, if you if you watch my stories over on Instagram, I'm currently working on a new hoop earring design. This was the first try. Yeah, it's far too long. And then I try to make it a little shorter, but I still don't like it. So I will probably only make one row of check beads. Uh, I may try it this evening, but I'm not sure yet. I will see you. I'm back from my lunch break and I've decided to make one or two reels. And I'm going to record the beading of my Chanel earrings because two pairs were bought last week and I need to restock anyway. So I will record this and make it into a reel. Uh, in case you don't know these earrings, these are my Chanel earrings. They consist of a brass chain and a beaded triangle around a brass binding, like this. I've sold two of the muted colored ones, so the white ones are still left. And I sold a dark blue pair and the pastel colored pair. So I've already got the colors over here, pastel and dark blue. And my thread and also my brass supplies. And yeah, I'm going to record this now. So I will use this mobile phone holder to record it. And then I've got a second holder here, <laughs> which will hold my camera. So you can see what I'm doing. Probably not the whole process, but just so you, th you can get an idea what I'm up to. So this is usually where I beat and where I also record my reels. So re for recording any footage for my reels, I usually put my mobile phone in there. And then I need to adjust the distance to my beading mat. And the angle, of course. Okay, like this. And then I usually only record snippets, so not the whole process, because it's not that handy to have this thing right before your nose when you try to see what your hands are doing. So, <laughs> uh, a few seconds or a few minutes is enough. As you can see, the champagne one is the one that I use the most. That's why I have quite many of these, just so that I'm not running out. So oftentimes I start a reel by showing the different supplies that I need, but not always. Sometimes I jump right into the beading. It's, I mean, you can do whatever you like. Make sure that it's focused. By the way, if you see a type of earring you would like to learn how to make it, just let me know in the comments. 
and I will see when I when I can post a tutorial for that one. So okay, next I need the beads, some Velika. And these are 50 nose. Let's start the beading. I have no clue how much thread I will need, but it's probably not more than an arm, arm length. First one in dark blue. I need a second one now, and then I will add the breast chains and the earring hooks. can see it once too long fixed it this actually took an eternity so the first pair is done I also got all the footage for the reel and it's not hard to beat these but the chain and the jump rings are so small and fine that it's a real struggle to get the jump rings through through the chain and yeah that's that's quite annoying so I got these I will also make pastel ones but I won't show you I mean it's the same just with different colors that's going to be it for today I hope you enjoyed my little beetle um, my rear is also done and yeah I'm going to take a break for now um, because it's nice outside and I probably I probably go for a walk and then I will continue my work this evening make the second reel, edit the video uh, it's probably going to be a long evening but I think you got an idea what I'm doing on my weekends <laughs> I hope you found it interesting so if there's anything that you would do differently, I mean, except for working on the weekends, of course, then let me know if you have, if you also have a small business uh, on the side while being employed full time, let me know and tell me how you organize it and manage it, if you want to, of course. I hope you enjoyed this little studio vlog. I think it's clear that there's tons of things to do and it makes me quite happy. I mean, even though it can be stressful at times, it's quite fun, I would say. For now, I'm out. If you like this video, please like or comment or subscribe, whatever you want. And hopefully I will see you next time. So, see you around. 
Have a nice weekend and goodbye. See ya.